When switching from a balanced commercial food to a homemade raw diet, it's your responsibility to understand the nutrients that are lacking in your pet's meal, how much of that nutrient they need daily, and what foods or supplements you can feed to provide that nutrient. Some nutrients are fine to give in excess from time to time, but others can be damaging if provided in high amounts long term. In this video, I want to go over two specific nutrients in particular and why they're dangerous to over supplement. The first one is vitamin D. This is a fat soluble vitamin that will almost always be low in a homemade diet, raw or cooked. This nutrient is important for calcium and phosphorus homeostasis, bone mineralization, and immune function. Unlike us humans, dogs, cats, and ferrets can't absorb vitamin D from the sun. This is why it's very important for us to provide it in the diet. Vitamin D is fat soluble, not water soluble, meaning the excess vitamin D will be stored in the fat rather than excreted in the urine. This is what can cause toxicity. Toxicity can cause high calcium levels in the blood, excessive drinking, and anorexia. So what are the safest ways to provide vitamin D? Carnivores absorb and metabolize vitamin D3, which is derived from animal sources, more efficiently than D2, which is derived from plant sources. Oily fish like Atlantic mackerel, Atlantic herring, and sockeye salmon are specifically high in vitamin D and can usually provide their recommended daily allowance. Beef liver and pasture-raised chicken eggs also contain vitamin D, but in lower amounts and don't often meet the daily requirement. Cod liver oil is also high in vitamin D and can easily meet the recommended daily allowance as well. Because it's also high in vitamin A, this should be provided in a diet that excludes liver. Feeding cod liver oil or pure vitamin D3 is often when over supplementation can occur, so be sure to understand your pet's daily allowance. I will link a few of my videos at the end of this one that helps you understand how to figure this out. The second nutrient that can be dangerous to over supplement is iodine. This is a mineral that's necessary for the production of thyroid hormones, which are responsible for the rate at which calories are burned and the speed of the heartbeat. Your pet's body cannot make iodine on its own, so it needs to be included in the diet. Too little iodine in the diet can cause hypothyroidism, and too much can cause hyperthyroidism. This can show itself in the form of a rough coat, weight loss, enlarged thyroid glands, heavy breathing, and a rapid heart rate. So what are the safest ways to provide iodine? Ultimately, feeding whole prey animals will provide a safe amount of iodine from their thyroid glands, but this isn't always an option for many. When it comes to a whole food source, iodine is mostly concentrated in sea kelp, but this may contain heavy metals and some toxins. So be sure to source from a reputable brand that not only guarantees its purity, but also provides the amount of iodine per scoop. Another option would be pure iodine drops. Of course, just like the vitamin D, this will be more concentrated, so be sure to understand your pet's dosage. Watch these videos to understand how to find your pet's recommended daily allowance. 